Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I don't have Etsy orders or anything like that. I do have a big order that I have to do for my sister. And she needs that by Valentine's Day. And that's in four days. So that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to dedicate myself to do that. I kind of wanted to do or schedule or think of some like TikTok ideas or something like that. Because it's, it's been a while. I don't remember the last time I posted on TikTok. But it's just been a little bit hectic here. So today's Thursday. On Sunday, we actually adopted a puppy. And it's just been a few days of getting used to our new schedule, getting everybody used to a new routine. We've just been trying to make her feel welcomed and loved. So it's I've kind of just been focusing on all that for the past couple of days. It actually just came out of the blue because we weren't even thinking about... Well, I mean, we were thinking about adding another um, puppy or dog to our family, but I didn't think it was going to happen so fast. We went to my best friend's house for a game night. We stayed the night, and by the time we came back, we came back with a rescue puppy. It was one of those things that wasn't planned for. It just kind of happened, and that's when you know it's like meant to be. So yeah, we have a new family member, and we all love her so much already. She is part of our family. She is officially our fourth child she's two and a half months old she's a rescue puppy like i said before and she's never had a stable home so i want to make sure she knows that this is her forever home and that's what we've all been doing we've all been just trying to show her love and stability with us having a new puppy i figured it would be the perfect time to try out my little engraver so for christmas my husband actually got me a little stocking stuffer i didn't know what i was gonna do with it at first because turbo which is our four-year-old yorkie he has a dog tag already with his information and it's in the shape of a bone and i really like that one so i you know i didn't want to make him a new one but now nova needs one and i figured it's the best time to try this out now this i didn't realize says for the cameo four i have a cameo three but it should be fine so this is the kit. These are different engraving blades. So they go from really fine. This one's really, really small. You have this medium one. This is a big one. I don't even know if these will be considered blades, but this is the holder. It's kind of like um, like my husband's uh, screwdriver thing, where you put in the head and then you twist it to make it stay in place. And it also comes with dog tags this little heart here is just way too small to use as a dog tag like it's just way too small to put anything on here so this will be cute like an accent this little circle is a little bit bigger so it might work for something like maybe you could put i don't know a name or an initial or initials here but i want to use this one which is the size of turbo's tag except that his is in the shape of a bone all right so the game plan right now is to work on my sister's stuff. I do have to design a little bit. And then once I'm finished with that, I'll come back and I will show you guys me attempting to engrave the dog tag for Nova, which is a new puppy. Hopefully it works out because it'll be cool to say like, yeah, I did that. I made it. <laughs> working on all the stuff now and I realized that I don't have enough final so I did order more on Amazon but it's not gonna be here till tomorrow and she needs it the day after so that's gonna be fun
finishing the video last night. I worked about 12 hours, give or take. I was also uh, doing the laundry and picking up the kids and cooking, so give or take 12 hours. I didn't fall asleep till almost one o'clock, so I was just so exhausted. I was tired. Today's a brand new day and I'm gonna go ahead and try to make the tag. The video I saw said to use some double-sided tape and um, it also said place it on a spot that isn't necessarily hitting the roller. I have no idea what that means, but they did it kind of like here in the middle-ish. I'm just gonna do it here. And another thing I forgot to do is measure because I need to figure out exactly where like the placement is gonna go. It's two inches long and one inch tall. All right, but I am going to move it over kind of like in the middle. So instead of starting off at one, two, three, four, five, I'll be starting off at about five and a half. So that way I can avoid this little circle there. First, I need to add some double-sided tape. I'm just putting a whole bunch. Oh wait, it's not even coming out. So that way it can stay on my mat and not move around. nice and stuck on there so it should be good now i have to figure out the whole blade situation um use on small designs the only thing i'm worried about right now is that this says it's for the silhouette cameo 4 i don't have that i have the silhouette cameo 3 okay let's see how it fits on my machine Oh, see, it doesn't fit. That's why it's for the Silhouette Cameo 4. I guess the Silhouette Cameo 4 is uh, bigger, like the, the little hole here is bigger. Oh man, that sucks. What is this? I don't know what this is. This came with my machine. Oh, I guess this is a pen holder thing. Oh man, I thought I was going to be able to try it. That was a fail, but I didn't realize, I mean, I did realize that it said Silhouette Cameo 4. I just thought maybe it could work, but apparently it does not because it is too big. Pretty sure it might be too late to return it. If anything, I'll just sell it and then look for Cameo 3 one. That's going to be the end of this video because that's it. <laughs> That's all I was going to do. I actually have another video that I think I'm going to record now right after this one. So you'll see me wearing the same thing. I'll be looking the same because I'm just going to continue on from here. That video is going to be a sublimation video. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to do sublimation. You'll see all about it. So make sure to be subscribed if you want to check that out. Who knows if it's going to be a fail like this one or if it's going to work out. But I did get a whole bunch of things to try this whole sublimation thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.